I think in most states, quarantine is probably over now. At least for Texas it is. It, it was over for us like a month ago pretty much. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a quarantine book review because I read some books this quarantine and they are really awesome. So I think you should read them too. Uh, I read three books completely through and there's some other ones that I didn't finish. I just kind of like read parts of them. By the way, you see the thing behind me? This is the same thing I was sitting in front of in my last video and it's pink now because I painted it. It was brown, uh, but we painted it pink and then also it has like new handles. Anyways, the first book is called The Myth of the Robber Barons by Burton Folsom. And it looks like this. This one is the newest edition. Um, we actually had to read this as a textbook in history class, but it wasn't a textbook, like a textbook textbook. We, we just like read it because he wanted us to. But it was a really good book and it goes through several different historical characters, not characters, but like people. Um, who were called robber barons. If you know what the term robber barons is, it usually has a negative connotation to it. At least from high school, what I got from it was like big, fat, rich people who just like oppressed the poor. So this book gives the other side, the other view of robber barons, which is why it's called the myth of the robber barons. So one of the people who was my favorite was Rockefeller. That was my favorite chapter. And um, it's because he gave away a lot of money to people throughout his life and he was just a really great person and he was really good at cutting costs by being more efficient rather than um, taking away money from the laborers. And um, there's also some stories in here from people who didn't really make the best decisions, but it's a great perspective on history because the ideas that we have of these guys are kind of what shaped our view of today. So. You should definitely check out this book if you're interested in history or politics or anything like that, or even business, because these were all business guys. The next book is called Seal of God, and this is written by a former Navy SEAL. His name is Chad, and Chad Williams. He spoke at my high school, and I got this book like two years ago, I think, two or three years ago, and I feel bad because I forgot about it, but um, I read it straight through in a week. Actually, it was more like two days. Yeah. Um, so he was a kind of a problem child. He was kind of mischievous and um, did a lot of things that weren't good. And he was going to college, going to college, but he kind of like skipped class a lot and he just didn't have a good lifestyle. So one day he decided he wanted to be a Navy SEAL. And so that was the first time he was like really committed to something because he had been like through skateboarding and um, acting a little bit for commercials and stuff. Um, and he never really like stuck with anything. So Navy SEALs was like something he wanted to prove to his parents that he could like stick with it. And so he made it through a uh, boot camp and then Navy SEAL boot camp, I guess you'd call it. I can't remember. Um, but it was like, he went through a lot. And throughout the whole process, God was actually working on his heart and he ends up giving his life to Jesus in the end. And he's no longer a Navy SEAL because he gave his life to um, speaking to others and sharing the gospel, which is really awesome. And also while I was reading this book, it was one of those ones you could just couldn't put down. I literally sat there and like read it for several hours because it was addicting. And he goes into like detail about his experience in boot camp for the Navy SEALs and uh, it was very motivating. So I went outside because I, I like to run and whenever it would like get really hard, I was like remembering his uh, stories about how hard it got for him and I was like I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. so it's a very motivating book and his whole story is really awesome and I think you can learn from it the next book is called start and this is what it looks like and it is from John McCuff and he used to be one of the Dave Ramsey personalities he's not anymore not really sure why but if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is look him up he's great uh, he'll help you get your financial house in order um, so this book is kind of like a motivational book. It's pretty much like whatever dream you want to do, just start and like go do it pretty much. And um, he goes through different phases of life pretty much. The start, what to expect when you're starting, learning, editing, mastering, harvesting, guiding. So he's basically saying you go through different stages in life where you learn as much as you can about whatever it is you're passionate about. Um, and then you edit, you kind of like, you know, see what's really important in your life and then you master and then you've got other people. So it's really great and 
I had trouble reading it at first. I actually started this like a year ago and I had trouble finishing reading it because when I started to read it, I would get really motivated and I'm like, why am I sitting here reading a book? Why don't I just come do what I want to do? So then I would put the book down because I would get super motivated. So that was the drawback for me. But over quarantine, I finally finished the book and it's really great. And at the very end of the book, he has like some interactive parts. Like you could um, journal about it, I guess. Like he has some, yeah, journaling prompts. And that's where I'm at now is like the back of it um, with the journaling prompts, but I finished the actual book. But it's great. You should go get this book if you're planning on starting a business or if you have like a dream or something that you're like aspiring to do and you just haven't done it yet, you should definitely go check this out. Those are the three books that I finished during quarantine. There are some other books that I didn't like finish during quarantine, but I either had previously finished or they're those kind of books where it's not a story, so you just like read parts of it, if that makes sense. So this book is called Eat Pretty. Nutrition for Beauty Inside and Out, and it's by, I do not know how to pronounce this name, Jolene Hart, I think, um, and it has flowers all over it. My mom actually had this book, and I don't know how long she had it, but we were cleaning one time, and I was like, hey, can I have this? And she's like, sure. So I don't know where you would buy this. Um, the other books, you can buy it off of Amazon, but I mean, you could probably find this off of Amazon, I don't know. But this is not like a story. This is like, she teaches you uh, the importance of eating food for your health and also for your beauty. Because a lot of the time we think that just putting stuff on the outside, like products is gonna make us like more beautiful, I guess. But she really talks about how the stuff you eat really affects your outside appearance and also how you feel. And um, she has the recipes in here and uh, like seasonal grocery lists. So it's really great. The next book, I actually uh, read this or I listened to it on audiobook as soon as it came out. Um, but then I also got the physical copy of the book which has some activities to like write in. And this one is called Love Defined by Kristen Clark and Bethany Baird. So if you don't know what Girl Defined is, you should look up Girl Defined on YouTube they're an amazing channel and they actually have a conference every year called girl defined conference i've never been to it but it seems cool um this was written whenever bethany was single she was single until she was i think it was right before she was 30. i think she got married either when she was 29 or 30 but when she wrote this she was like single um and bethany was married or uh kristen was married <laughs> so they uh basically talk about what a godly relationship looks like and they give scriptures for it. They talk about their personal experiences with the relationships, mistakes they made. Um, and then there's journal prompts like this. You can just write in there. So basically during quarantine, I didn't read through this because I'd already like listened to it. I just picked like a chapter and like reviewed over it and then journaled a little bit in the questions. But they also have another book called Girl Defined. And then there's another one that they recently wrote. Can't remember the name of it but you should check them out. I will link their website and their YouTube channel below because they're really awesome and encouraging. If you are into reading books, then you should check these out. Um, if you're not into reading, I know that this one, Love to Find, is on ChristianAudio.com. You can also download it. It's an app on iPhone. I'm pretty sure you can get it available on Androids also, or you can get the printed copy from GirlToFind.com. You can actually probably get this from Amazon too. Those are all the books that I'm going to be talking about today. If you like to read books, if you read any books during quarantine, you should comment below and let me know. Or if there's anything else you did that was super interesting, you should comment below and tell me so I can see all the fun things that you did. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and a great rest of your quarantine if you're still in quarantine. Bye!